Hey everyone, so this is the look we are going for today. It's teal and pink. It was a requested look on my Facebook, so I finally got to it. Um, I really want to apologize for the lighting. Um, it's just kind of crazy throughout the video, but I've recently changed up my setup, which I think I mentioned in this video. Um, so hopefully the next video will be better lighting. I'm using my Stay Don't Stray from Benefit, and I'm going in with Milk Jumbo Pencil that I've melted down into that little pot. And um, because I'm using these soft yet pigmented colors, I really need a sticky base. And of course, a white base helps the colors pop even more. And if you notice, I did not speed it up as fast as normal. So there's going to be a lot of lag time. <laughs> and I'm using my theatrical palette, which I want to apologize. You can no longer get this from any makeup company as far as, my, as, far as I know. Um, but your 120 palette um, or the other similar palettes have similar bright colors. You know, just find a bright pink and a bright teal, basically. As there goes the writing. Sorry so far away also because I didn't realize I have my computer in front of me. So, because I have a plug-in USB webcam and so I can see what I'm doing and obviously when my computer is close to me I think that it's closer until I go back and watch it and it was pretty far away but anyway I'm using this Borghese Costco brush it's synthetic and I'm packing on that teal color first and um, I didn't want to blend it out because when you blend out these colors too soon unless that's the look you're going for um, they tend to go all over the place meaning the color is going to go way too high and way too inward and I was trying to keep the color more concentrated. So with that 217 blending brush, I'm going in with a powder blue and just buffing out the the edges of that teal. And then it's just a process of adding and blending, adding and blending so you don't use too much color and it doesn't become too dramatic even though it's still dramatic. So I hope that's a little tip that you guys can learn from if you're wondering how you know when you're trying to use bright pigmented colors and it's just going everywhere we'll use a smaller stiffer crease brush to pack in the color and then a more of a medium blending crease brush to blend out just the edges next I'm using angel wings from glamour doll eyes it's just a duochrome white frosty glitterish and I'm putting that on the inner corners and I did spray the Avon um, refreshing spray just to kinda make it a little tacky on my eyes and sorry if I sound stuffy. I don't know why. Um, I'm going in with... Next. I was just blending that out. This is a Perfusion. Perfusion, I think it said. Or, yeah. Perfusion palette that I got at Walgreens for 99 cents. Um, they're okay. They're worth 99 cents. I'm using that white color, which has a pinky duochrome to it, as my highlight. And right now, I'm just going in and blending... Blend, 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 blend. And that is from Jordana. It's just a really pretty baby blue eyeliner. And this is very pigmented and they really do last, but you have to layer it. And you're going to see that I'm doing that, just going over and over and over and over and over again <laughs> to get the density that I want. But they are pretty pigmented. I also have it in purple and in black. So I'm showing you the two colors. First I'm going in with the darker teal, then I'm going to go in with the powder blue, and then I'm going in with that pink, because it's more of a frost, it's not a matte like the one I have on my actual eyelid. And my foundation today is my Benefit. Um, I did a foundation video before this that's already up, um, so go ahead, I'll link that somewhere. And that is my Avon, or Mark by Avon eyeliner. Super, super simple. I'm using my Bad Gal Lash from Benefit. I had already had mascara on, so I'm just kind of touching it up. And yeah, and also excuse my hair. Um, I hadn't washed it in two days, and I had a coconut oil treatment in it. That's why it looks really, really extra greasy. But um, I'm just trying to take care of my hair right now since I did a lot. So I'm trying not to do that much as far as heat and styling to it. But yes. So that is my They're Real, and I love that mascara for my bottom lashes only. 
So going back in and blending, next I'm going to do my eyebrow and you're going to see the final look. On my lips I have 905D from Wet n Wild along with a Milani lip gloss that I think I show you, maybe not. Um, but yeah, so this is the final look. See how the lighting is just all over the place. But yes, it was very, very dramatic in person. I haven't done a dramatic look in a while. I think I say that all the time. But I think because I don't wear that much makeup anymore, every look is dramatic to me. But yes, I hope you guys enjoyed this. The video pretty much ends right now. Uh, please comment below if you have any other requests. I still have some videos that, I'm, that are coming that were requested. So just stay tuned and yeah, talk to you guys soon. Bye.